I am doing a DNA test. I don't know if it's a, a paternity test or what, but I'm doing something. I'd assume it's gonna be mainly like South Asian, seeing as my mom's Indian and my dad's Pakistani. My granny was from Mayo, but she was a, a Costello and she was very sallow skinned, so I presume there's Spanish blood there. And then my granddad was from mm, Cyprus. And then my other grandparents were both dubs. I fit into the Irish uh, physical stereotype, I think. I've always felt kind of unexotic, and I'd love to find out if there's a little bit of exoticism in me. Ooh, it's cool and nifty. I thought it'd be like a cup in a video. I get the packaging, because it's like unlocking your genes. Get it? Open the kit test and lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. This table's been through the wars over the years. Has it been cleaned? I didn't do science in school, I only did it for a year. So this is all the experiments I missed out on doing. Schwabs, for schwabbing. Vials of unknown liquid. I swab this around, mm -hmm. and then I plunge it into this thing, and then... Kind of snaps off. Yeah, it's like a tampon. <laughs> I don't swab an awful lot, actually. I don't know what it is to swab. It's not a verb we use a lot. I wonder if like, my left cheek is like half Japanese and my right cheek is like half Turkish. Oh, my mum's gonna be at home watching this going, oh no, he's gonna find out! This is actually really exciting. Bet you they don't, actually, this is all a gimmick and they're taking these off to clone people. That's my DNA in a bag. Biohazard. Be careful, I could have germs. Now look, I know you didn't ask for a semen sample, but I prepared my own. I feel like there's a little part of me in there. Oh, I'm a little bit apprehensive that I might find there's something in there that surprises me. But that's also the, the joy of doing this. Yeah. So also, they might tell me I'm sick, and that's the real worry. I'm really nervous. I don't know why, I just am. I'd love to have a bit of like something mad in me, like West Indies. I'd be like, yeah. I've been kind of haunted that I might be English. Laura is... <laughs> As I suspected. Iberian, ooh, Spanish, 10%. East European, cool. And Jewish, yes! John is itself. All right, 75% British and Irish. 9% Italian, eh, que forza. 8% Iberian, what's that mean? 4% Middle Eastern. No. And 2% other. That means like half horse. John is great. 94.6% British and Irish. Would you say Irish? A bit Jewish. And a bit Eastern European. Ah. What am I? 84.2% South Asian. Oh, really? I wouldn't have got. Jewish? That's mad. And Eastern European. I'm very confused. There's a bit Irish in me. I'm part Amazonian. Oh my God, that's unreal. Oh, I knew there was a, a bit of Jew in me somewhere. I should start eating everything kosher now. And not just halal. The one thing that I was banking on was like the Greek area. And I know we've got Turkey, Azerbaijan, uh, Iran. Syria, Iraq, Kuwait, oh no, Donald Trump's not gonna let me in America anymore. Like obviously like my parents are like Asian, but where did those li little little bits come from? So it's obviously like probably far back. I'm glad that I have other bits in me though. That is a really nice surprise. I was like, it's gonna be 102% Irish, boring. Belarus, Lithuania, Poland, Ukraine. Like that area I would never have known about. And I'm partly Irish, which makes me really happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm delighted with that, to be honest. Because um, I love Ireland. <laughs> and I love being from Ireland. I'm probably gonna drink more, um, now that I know I'm that Irish. I mean, Jews are the best comedians, yeah. so... What can I say, yeah? <laughs> Americans are like, oh, I'm part Latina, I'm part Native American, I'm part German, uh, Scottish, and Hungarian. And you're like, what? But I can now understand, like, everyone's made up of a big melting pot.